It has just been released. We have some new casting news for the show, House of the Dragon. What's the deal, my people? You know what it is, Don Tony Teflon, and I'm back at you another one. And this one is House of the Dragon news, fan casting the characters. And we have some new news about a casting call for a new actor in House of the Dragon. And as always in these videos, we will cast who we believe should play this role. So maybe the big wigs at HBO, if we get enough views, will see this video and take into consideration who we think should play this role. So make sure you thumbs up this video, give it a like, and also subscribe. And as always, if any one of my videos hit 400 likes, then I will give away a $25 Netflix gift card to anyone who is subscribed and who leaves a comment on this video. So let's get right to it. This information is provided by, I will leave the link in the description to the place. I'm not going to pronounce it because I don't know if I'll get it right. But it was posted by Sean McLaughlin. So let's get right to it. House of the Dragon is expected to adapt material from George R. R. Martin's novel, Fire and Blood, as well as anthologies, Dangerous Woman and Rogues, the entire chronicle of the Targaryen rule. From the arrival from Aegon, the Conqueror, to Westeros, to the Dance of Dragons, the civil war that erupted amongst the Targaryen household and tore them apart could be covered in the series as well so from what we know the series will just be the dance of the dragons i do not believe that they are doing at all the arrival of the targaryens and the conquest with aegon they're just going to stick to the things that are related to a dance with dragons and i think that that's how it will end on the dance with dragons the showrunners are game of thrones director miguel supotnik emmy winner for the Battle of the Bastards episode and Ryan Kondo. Martin and Kondo are also attached to write numerous episodes and Spotnik is expected to at least direct the show's pilot. EW reported that casting search began in earnest in July 2020. And now here is the scoop. HBO is looking for multiple options to for the role of Prince Damon Targaryen, known to many as the Rogue Prince. The description of the role goes as follows. Prince Daemon Targaryen, we're looking for a male 40 to 50 years old. Description is, the younger brother to King Viserys, Daemon, wasn't born with naked ambition. For the throne, despite being in line for it, he is methodical and more impetuous, not to be mentioned easily bored, stumbling from one distraction to the next, with the subconscious yet singular obsession with earning the love and acceptance of his brother, the king. Most of Damon's joy is found at sword point, but even as the most experienced warrior of his time, he facilitates between vile and heroic, making him the true rogue of this series. Siri Lee options essentials. This role is currently scheduled to be filmed between January and December 2021. So it seems like they'll be shooting all year or there's a possibility for them shooting all year whether they're doing reshoots or whatever. It's going to take a long time to get it done which is great for us Game of Thrones fans and they have announced that it is a main role. Now listen, we all know the people who have read the books and know the story that this is a main character. If there was ever such a word main character, this guy is it. And we know that this casting must be done right. Now since I've done a slew of fan casting videos and I will put this in the folder with all of them. So you can go back and check them all out and you tell me what you think of them, alright? Let's get into fan casting this person. We heard the description that was given. I will give you a couple of highlights from this dude so we can get a better feel for who this person should be. 
Prince Daemon Targaryen was a member of House Targaryen and the uncle and husband of Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, whose claim he supported in the Dance of Dragons. He was Rhaenyra's second husband following Sir Lenore Valyrian. He was the younger son of Prince Balon Targaryen and brother to King Viserys I Targaryen. Prince Daemon was the most experienced warrior of his time and wielded the Valyrian steel blade, Dark Sister. The dragon rider, whose dragon was Caraxes, Daemon declared himself king of the Stepstones and the Narrow Sea. He was also ambitious, impetuous, mercurial, amoral, reckless, and quick to take offense. Archmaester Gildane described Daemon as being charming as he was hot-tempered. Since his youth, Daemon's face was familiar to every cut purse, whore, and gambler in Flea Bottom. He was knighted at 16 and King Jaehaerys I Targaryen then gave him Dark Sister. In 106 AC, Daemon led an army to invade the Steppe Zones in the Southern Narrow Sea. With the support of Lord Valyrian and his fleet, Daemon used his dragon Caraxes. He made many enemies during the course of his adventures there. He also made enemies in the Seven Kingdoms, including Sir Otto Hightower and members of House Royce due to the treatment of his wife. After conquering all but two of the islands, Daemon declared himself king of the Steppe Zones and Narrow Sea in 109 AC, being crowned by Corlys, the Sea Snake. Neither age or exile had changed Daemon's nature. However, he took up again with old companions in the city's watch and returned to the brothels on the Street of Silk. Daemon was cold with Viserys' second wife, Queen Alicent Hightower, and her children, who had pushed him further down the line of succession. Daemon spent hours in the company of his niece, Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen, praising her beauty, enthralled her with tales of his adventures, giving her gifts, and mocking her stepmother and the Greens. Daemon was then exiled for rumors that he took his niece's virginity, and then he returned to his old kingdom he had previously conquered. Anything else would go into the Dance of Dragons and would ruin part of the story for people who have not read the book. And I do not want to do it. So with that, I do believe we have enough information to cast this character. What they're looking for is someone in their 40s to 50s. We got to have someone who can look like he can wield the sword on the battlefield. Someone who's charismatic, good looking, charming, but a skilled warrior. And I think I have the perfect person to play this role so i am gonna go with to play damon targaryen the rogue prince actor jonathan reese myers he was born in 1977 making him 43 years of age we have seen him in movies already swinging the sword we have seen him in TV shows like The Tudor where he played the king so he can do the royal thing. So I believe that this is the perfect casting. HBO, listen to the Don Tony Tough line. If you want to make this right, put this man in as this character. But you tell me in the comments section. You say, listen, Teflon Don, baby. You bug. Say, Tony Teflon, my man, my brother, my mellow. I like your pick, but I think I have somebody better. If that is the case, I want to hear about it. Where do I want to hear about it? In the comment section. Put that in the comment section, whoever you think. If you think this is perfect, then say, Tony Teflon, you done did it again, bro. You done did it again. HBO needs to book you, hire you, and let you cast this show. Hey, that's how we do on Teflon TV. As of the time I shot this video, we did not hit 400 likes on the last video. Hopefully, we can still get there and we can give away that gift card and hopefully we can get there too at the end of this video and we can give away another one. So make sure you subscribe 
hit that thumbs up button, click that bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a new Game of Thrones House of the Dragon video. And until next time, you know who it is. And stay sexy.